In this video, we're going to go over how to average points within polygons. So up to this point, we've brought in a combine yield monitor layer, as you can see by all the small points in the field. We've brought in plot stakes from pre-recorded plot stake positions out in the field to guide us where our plots are in the, in the yield monitor layer. We've also placed polygons over each of the four plots that were done in this on-farm trial. Now our very last step is to average the points within each of those polygons. So in order to do this, we have to join the polygon layer with the combine yield monitor layer. So to do this, we will go to the toolbox in the menu toolbar. And we're going to go down to vector general. So vector just refers to the type of data we're doing analysis on. So vector would include points and lines and, and polygons. Once we're in vector general, we're going to go down to join attributes by location summary and double click on that. You can see there's a little bit of a description on the right hand side. Basically, we're taking one vector layer, which is the polygon layer and joining it with another layer to merge the attributes of those two layers. So in this case here, we're adding our polygon layer with our yield monitor layer to join attributes of both the polygons and the yield monitor layer. For our input layer, uh, give us a couple different options for the layers in our map. We're going to leave this on plot polygons. For our join layer, which is the layer we want to join to the polygon map, we will add our yield monitor layer. For geometric predicate, we'll change this to contains. We want to do an analysis based on the yield monitor values that are contained within the plot polygons. Next, we can go to fields to summarize. So in previous videos, we showed all the different attributes that belonged with each combine yield monitor point. Again, these, all these attributes here, all the attributes associated with each individual point. So of course, this is a yield trial. We're most interested in dry yield, but there might be some other things we're interested in as well that our treatments might have an effect on. So I'm going to select moisture as well so we can see if uh, treatments had an effect on moistures at harvest time for this trial. There's lots of other things we could select, but I'm going to leave the rest of them for now. I'll select OK. Now the next one is what summaries do we want to do for calculations uh, for those values within each polygon? So you can see again, QGIS gives us a number of different options. Uh, obviously our main one we're really concerned about is just what is the average or the mean for those points within each polygon. So I'm going to select mean just for a bit of quality control to make sure I, it's averaging what I think it's supposed to be averaging. I also like to include counts. Uh, just to take a, a brief look when we uh, when we do a summary as well. And with that, I'll select OK. And at that point, we will hit Run. Once it's run, we can close this window and close the toolbox window. Now you can see we have a new layer and a new layer in our Layers window as well. So this is the joined layer of both the polygons and the yield monitor points that were underneath those polygons. You can see there's a little uh, a little symbol here, which means this, this is a temporary scratch layer. So if we close this and don't save this layer, this join layer will disappear. But I'd like to keep this layer for future reference for the analysis that we've just done here. So I'm going to right click on it and select make permanent. In this case here, I'll just give it a name. So I'm going to put uh, joined layer plots by yield monitor and click OK. Now if I select off that joined layer, you can see that scratch symbol disappeared. So this should be a permanent layer now at this point. So now we've got a layer that's combined both the polygons and the yield monitor points. We should have an attribute table that will provide us with those summaries by each different plot. So you can see we have our plot ID numbers, which we labeled for our polygons when we put those polygons down. And you can see we have the summaries for the different attributes that we summarize. So we have number of counts and the means for the moistures within each of those polygons. And we also have number of counts and means for the dry yields for the yield monitor values in those polygons as well. You can sort this data to make it a little more uh, logical. So we can sort it in plot order from 101 to 202. And at this point we can copy and select data uh, to bring into our, uh, our spreadsheet as a record of our summary. So I'm just going to select all 
and go to copy and copy that data. Next, I can go into our spreadsheet and I can paste this data in. I'm gonna get rid of some of this data we really don't uh, need. And drag this table up one row. And now you can see we've got a summary of our plots, what our average moistures were for these plots and what the average yields for. So again, we can change things here to show some more decimal points or whatever, and maybe make these headings a little bit nicer, but just gives an idea of how you can bring the data in from QGIS fully summarized into a spreadsheet or somewhere else where you might quickly want to take a glance at uh, research results. So the next step here, I won't show it yet. It might be a topic for a new video is that we could take these results and uh, take them into an analysis tool to do some quick statistical analysis to see if there was actually a significant impact on yields from the different treatments that we compared in, uh, in this trial. But this summarizes our videos on how to bring data into a field from a yield monitor layer into QGIS, how to locate your trials and put polygons on top of each plot, and how to fully summarize the data you're looking for within each plot uh, using those polygons and the yield monitor da data with uh, a spatial join.